Hello everyone, welcome to CodeSoft. In this video, we are going to talk about the question chocolate distribution problem. So let's get started. Now the problem statement says that we are given an array of n integers where each value represents the number of chocolates in a packet. So that means the array is having n values and each value represents one packet. And the value of that array represents the number of chocolates in that particular packet, right? Now each packet can have a variable number of chocolates. There are M students. The task is to distribute chocolate packets such that first point each student gets one packet. So till now the question is that there is an array that is having N packets and there are M students. Now we need to give each student one packet out of those N packets. And now what is the next statement? The next statement is that the difference between the number of chocolates in a packet with maximum chocolates and the packet with minimum chocolates given to the student is minimum. So what we have to do is that suppose we are giving those M chocolates to N some M students, right? Now each student will open the packet of chocolates and find out that there is this number of chocolates present in that particular packet. And out of those students, there will be one student that will be getting the minimum number of chocolates in his packet. And similarly, there will be a student that will be having the maximum number of chocolates in his packet. We need to minimize this difference. That is the maximum chocolate minus minimized minimum chocolate. And this difference we need to minimize in the question. So what do I mean to say? Let's say we have this array that is 7, 3, 2, 4, 9, 12 and 56 and M equals to 3. So that means there are three students. We need to give three packets out of these packets. These are, let's say, if we count N, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So M is seven in this, N is seven in this case, and M is three. So out of these seven packets, we need to give those three students uh, the packets, one packet each, such that the difference between the maximum student chocolate and the minimum student chocolate should be minimum, okay. Okay, so what I mean to say is that let's say this is the array. Let's pick first M value. So this becomes a sub array of size M. So we give one student seven chocolates, two student, second student three chocolates and third two chocolates. So the difference between maximum min and minimum is seven minus two, that is five. Similarly, if we pick any other sub array, let's say this of size M, that is three students. One student will get nine chocolates, other will get 12 and the last one will get 56. Difference between minimum and maximum is 56 minus 9, that is 47. So this is the difference. Now we need to minimize this value, this difference value we need to minimize. So we need to pick that sub array accordingly, which will give us this minimum array. So in this case, if we look at this sub array, that is 2, 3 and 4. So the maximum value is 4 and minimum is 2 and 4 minus 2 equals to 2. This is the minimum value that we actually require. So you can see that if we if we pick these three values, that is these M values from this array, we get the minimum value. So I hope the question is clear. I would request you to pause the video at this moment and please try this question on your own. If you're not able to, then please refer to the video solution. The brute force approach, which would actually come into anyone's mind is that, okay, we are given an array. We can actually create all the sub arrays that are possible in O of N square time. And after creating all the sub arrays, we can just check the maximum and minimum value and subtract them, find the difference and save it somewhere and keep uh, comparing it with all the sub arrays and find the final answer. So we have talked about the brute force approach. Now let's look at the optimized solution. So the optimized solution goes with the fact that to minimize the difference between maximum and minimum value, we need to pick the sub arrays that are having all the values closest to each other, right? So what do I mean by this is that let's say we have a sub array that is two, three and four, right? So in, so we need to pick sub arrays in which the next number to two should be the next bigger value possible that is three. So any sub array that is two, four or nine, this, this is not a candidate for being, for giving us the answer because after two, not three, but four is present. And that is why we are missing a value. That means the difference is actually being greater and we want the minimum difference. So that is why we will pick all the values that are closest to each other. And for that, what we need to do is we need to sort the array. After sorting arrays, we get the values in increasing order. And thus we can create or we can pick M, M, M size sub arrays in order starting from zero till M minus one, then one to M, two to M plus one and so on. And then we can compare the values to find the answer. Okay. 
So this is the array that we are having. And if I talk about, let's just pick up this, right? Yeah. So if we sort the array, we get this array. So what the solution says, just sort the array. After that, pick, so M in this case is three, right? M is three. So pick M size subarray one by one. So first we pick this subarray. This will return the difference as two, that is four minus two. Then we pick this, this sub array that is 3, 4, 7. The difference here is 4. And we compare this 4 with 2. 2 is still smaller, so we pick the value 2 only and do not use this 4 value. Then we go to next sub array that is 4, 7, and 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. Again, 5 is greater than 2, so we still pick the 2 value. Then we pick the next sub array that is this. And the difference is again 5, which we are, which is again greater than 2. And so on, we just, we just actually traverse the array pick m values, find the maximum minus minimum difference. And after that, we just compare it with the previous value or the smallest value we have found till now. And this is how after, after the end of traversal of the array, we will actually find the smallest value. And this will actually take only O of n log n time because our sorting takes only O of n log n time. So let's move to our editor and implement this solution. Okay, so let's implement the solution and uh, okay so the array given in the question is 73249 that is 73249 and then we have 12n56 so this is the array here uh, okay here n is equal to 7 and let's just sort this array so or we can use this default sort of a uh, function that is provided by STL. So sort, sort ARR comma ARR plus N and we can rename this to ARR only. Okay. After sorting, what we have to do, we need to create a variable that will store this minimum difference value. So minimum difference will be stored in this and we need to maximize it initially so that all the values that are coming from the array should be smaller than this. So let's just save it as int max. So now let's declare two variables that is I and J. So I refers to the starting point of our each subarray and J will refers to refer to the ending point of our each subarray. Now what we need to do is we need to declare J as K minus one. This will be the ending point of our first subarray. And we need to start a loop for I, where I is starting from zero. That is the first starting point of the first subarray. And I will go till, I will go till M N minus M plus one. So basically this will be the last starting point of the last subarray, right? So this is what we need to do. After this, what we have to do is we just need to find this local difference. So this difference is actually ARR J minus R ARR I. Okay. After that, we need to compare compare this difference. If this difference is smaller than our minimum difference, if this is the case, we will just update the minimum difference with this difference. Right. Now our J now our I will actually be moving through the loop, but we need to increment our J in each case. So we will just do J plus plus. So at the end of this, we will just see out our minimum difference value and we should be, I think, good to go. Okay, so N is not declared in this scope. Okay, so we are actually not, so there is one bracket missing at the end. So this should be fine. K is not declared because we are using the variable M and it says n was not declared in the scope. This is because we haven't put the ending point here. So I think this should be fine now. And you can see we are getting the value 2. That is the minimum difference. So this is the case. This is the code for this problem. And this is the optimized one where we are just using O of n log n time for sorting of the array. You can also put a condition that if, uh, if our m is greater than n, that means the number of students is greater than the number of chocolates. Uh, so in this case, we can just see out that no answer found because we are not having all the packets for each student. So there will be no sub array of size M possible. So this is the this is the optimized solution problem for this one. If you like this, then do follow us to subscribers and thank you for this video. That's all.